In the next part of our seminar, we're going to be looking at what does B do to your function. So we're going to look at this value of B inside the parentheses, the thing you multiply by X. Well, B doesn't tell you much, but the period is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of B. So that will change the period. So your graph is going to get wider or thinner depending on what's going on. Remember, the period goes from height to height or trough to trough. It goes from the same part. So on this example, I want to describe how the graph of f of x equals cosine x and g of x of cosine x over 8 are related. I want to find the period of g and x and sketch at least one period of both functions on the coordinate axis. I think I'm going to show you how you can figure out how to do this on Desmos too, rather than me just having it done for you. So we'll just start fresh. First off, if I look at my function, it's y equals, or g of x, I'm sorry, g of x equals cosine of x over 8. Well, I want you to think of that. That's actually the cosine of 1 eighth x. So b is 1 eighth. So what does that do to our period? Well, our period then is going to be 2 pi divided by 1 eighth, which is actually 16 pi. So that's what we're going to have to graph on this one. So we're going to have to change our period, our graph, so it has a period of 16 pi. Let's show you how you do that. So if we go into Desmos, I'm going to hide what I did before. I'm going to click on the wrench right here. And I want my x-axis, I want to go from 0, because I'm, I'm only doing one period. And then I'm going to change that to 16 pi. And I'm still going to have pi over 2. And I think I'm going to go from negative 2 to positive 2. Whoa, what happened there? And let's count by 0.5s. That's what step means. So now I can see that function. And flip. I always uh, go in just a little bit so we can see the zero. And notice how your original graph, we have a bunch of periods here, don't we? We have eight periods going on because that's what it is. Now, let's type in, in a different color, we'll go y. By the way, you can go g of x. I just like y. y equals cosine. So I have to put my function key. Cosine. And then in parentheses, I'm going to go x divided by 8. There you can see there is one period of your graph. If you were, had to do this on your paper, you, there's nothing wrong with looking at this and then uh, sketching it on your paper. 